from Rock Music Critic. I'm here with Byron from God Forbid. We're here at the Empire in Springfield. Byron, your sixth album, e Equilibrium, was just released in March. What has the response to the album been so far? Uh, the response has been really good. You know, a lot of people have been uh, getting into it. You know, it's definitely a step forward from uh, Earth's Blood. It's still pro bro. It's, I don't want to say pro bro, prog, but you know, it's it's more condensed. We trimmed the fat. You know, made better songs, catchier songs. And, you know, just trying to do it big. I will say, I listened to it last night. This starts out the, the first track, hits you, and just captures you real right for the first start of it. This is your first album with Matt on guitar. How'd you hook up with Matt? Um, we've known Matt for a long time. Like, uh, when we used to go to LA, he would come out, you know, and um, come hang out at shows with his now ex wife. And um, we just kind of know him from him being in Hymns as well. And, Doc and Dallas were really good friends with him. You know, he wasn't playing with any bands at the time. And he, he still wanted to play, so we kind of snatched him up. Is it hard to bring in somebody new, that learn everything? Um, yeah. Did Matt pick up well? Yeah, he picked up well. I mean, Matt's a very talented guitar player. You know, it's just, it was definitely a weird thing to have him in the fold just because it had been so long that we'd been, you know, the original lineup yeah. to actually change someone after all this time. It was. It was a good thing, but it was a bad thing at the same time. I know exactly what you're saying, man. With the band's songwriting process, did that, did that change bring Matt on board? Has Matt added to that? Um, he... Matt has definitely added to the songwriting process. He definitely, like him and Doc have a similar style of writing and kind of like the same style of musicianship as far as like the European thrash. You know, and they're both very melodic guitar players. You know, Doc is a more of a heavy melodic guitar player, and Tricky's more of a catchy pop metal melodic guitar player. You know, I mean, that's the best way to describe it. Like, he writes a lot of crazy melodies and has these like intricate, like orchestral movements throughout the songs in his mind. You know, and he he's a writing machine. Like we. I think he might have wrote like, we wrote like 30 songs, but we only used like 13. Wow. So we, yeah, we got some stuff that we're gonna go back later and trim the fat on and maybe make the next record if you're lucky. <laughs> so we'll see. I know, we'd love to hear it. How is this album <coughs> compared to your earlier albums? Um, you say again that you trimmed the fat. I know when you guys started, you had a distinct sound where it's changed now. I well, can't put my thumb on it It's now. not really changed, it's just become more refined. You know, I mean, when we did the first, first album, it was like broad strokes, you know what I mean? It's like, we were just trying to do everything. And then, you know, as time went on, we tried to, since it was so crazy, we tried to bring it in so people could kind of follow it. You know, I mean, there's a, there's a, there's a, there comes a point when there's technicality to be technical and technicality to get a message across, you know, and we were just being technical just to be technical, you know, and that's cool, but as you get older, man, that it's more about the songwriting than just being able to play 30 fucking thousand notes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> now, the, going crazy. To go along with that, how do you put yourself to change and boy be? I just changed my vocal styles. Like, there was a couple ideas I had I wanted to try some new things. You know, I did a little bit more singing on this record than I have in the previous records. Um, you know, um, I did a lot of writing on this record. I used to do a lot of writing in the beginning, but then my other guitar player caught the bug and he wanted to start writing, so he started taking over a lot of the writing. And then by him leaving, you know, all the writing came back to me again, which is cool. You know, I try and have everybody contribute a little bit as far as writing goes, just so that lyrically it doesn't seem one-sided from one individual, because in this band, there's really not one individual. Well, there is one individual, but it's five different individuals that make up one group, you know? So we, everybody has their own split personalities. So I just wanted to get a, a little bit of that on the record, you know, as, as opposed to just one, one sided view of things. Gotcha. You have a new label this time around, Victory Records. Yeah. How's it feel to work for a new label after being with the old one for so long? It feels amazing, you know? It's like, it's like a breath of fresh air. Like, they really are behind this band and what we're doing. And, you know, they heard what we were doing and they didn't want to change anything. You know what I mean? Like, they still let us be us and are willing to do whatever it takes to make it happen. So, I mean, you, you got to appreciate that. You know, some labels, you know, if 
they have big expectations, and if you don't meet them, then they just kind of throw you to the back burner and, yeah. you know, sign like 15 other bands that are trying to be you anyway. Kind of sounds like with this new lay with that personal side's there a little bit more with you guys with that, that care and attention. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we're, an, we're an older band, so for us it's like I'm very emotional about what we do, you know what I mean, because at the end of the day I'm giving it my all, you know what I mean, so I want people around us who care that much about it as much as we do, you know. We just don't want to be another number on the page, you know, some band that, you know, they, they might do this, they might do that, but someone that actually believes in the ideas of the band and what the band has done and continues to want to do, you know. Great point. You're on tour. Overkill right now. How has that been? The tour, the shows have been awesome. The rise in between have sucked. <laughs> you know, like, it started out really cool and then, you know, it, it, I guess it, it just got bad, you know, just going from L.A. to Texas 24 hours, you know, in a van, and then from Texas to Florida another 24 hours. Now, what are you, what are you doing on the road to pass the time? <coughs> reading books, you on your phone, you... Um, I'm pretty much on the internet. Like, I've been turned into an internet whore because we have to do a lot of self-promoting just to keep the name out there. We disappear for a little while, you know, so... We gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta keep that internet presence. Try and read a little bit here and there. I mean, right now it's just some conspiracy books. But I got I'm, not you. Gonna, I'm not gonna say what you're okay. into. But yeah, we do a little bit of that, you know, and just just trying to stay rested and healthy so we can finish the tour strong. I will say to all the fans out there, God forbid, Facebook very active with the fans. Great, great place to sign up, like them. They post a lot on there, interact very well with that. And we're going to have some videos up there soon, too. Sweet. <laughs> it's going to be crazy. <laughs> we're looking forward to it. What have you been listening to lately? Um, lately, I've been Doesn't need to be new. Could be old. Um, I, I listen. Lately, I've been listening to uh, the last Straight Line Stitch album. That shit's fucking amazing. That I love good. that album. Um, I've been listening to Avenged Sevenfold's last album. I was listening to the new Five Fingers album. This is the new Lamb of God. Um, and then I just been listening to old stuff like Slayer, as usual. Of and, course. You know, um, some Anthrax, the new Anthrax. That's a killer album. And then, you know, I, I love my Maiden, so I listen to a lot of Maiden. Yeah. Was there anything else you want to say, man? I got far enough left to say. Um, just be on the lookout. We're about to uh, do this Trespass America tour. With Five Finger Death Punch, Kill Switch Engage, Trivium, Pop Evil, Amira, um, Battle Cross. So we're about to get in your ass this summer. It's going to be a good time. We'll be out hanging out as usual. You'll see us at the shows. We're going to be trying to do barbecue sessions, you know, hanging out with the fans. Just having fun, man. Loving music, you know, and just being there for the music and, and the people. We're just hanging out. You know, you come see us, say hello. We'll be down and, you know, crack the bottle and crown open and take a couple swings with dime bag and have a good time. Good. Byron, thanks rolling. No for problem. the time. Thank you. Matt for Rock Music Critic. See ya.